Your marriage should have within it a secret and protected space, open to you alone. Imagine it to be a walled garden, entered by a door to which only you hold the key. Within this garden, you will cease to be a mother, father, employee, homeowner, or any of the other roles which you fulfill in your daily life. Here, you can be yourselves, two people who love each other. Here, you can concentrate on one another's needs. So take each other's hands and go forth to your garden. The time you spend together is not wasted, but invested. Invested in your future and nurture of your love. It's nearly 11 years since Imogen and I met on our first date. But you know what they say, good things come to those who wait. I love you more today than yesterday, but less than tomorrow. I, Aaron, Stephen, take you, Imogen, Claire, Rebecca, Lightly, to be my wife. To be my wife. I, Imogen, Claire, Rebecca, Lightly, take you, Aaron, Stephen, to be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. Imogen, Claire, Rebecca, Lightly, I give you this ring. Aaron, Stephen, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all, and that, all that I, I have, have, I share, share with, with you. you. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Imogen and Aaron have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Say I do. they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe him who is alone when he falls, and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. Is he
like to welcome you all to this joyous occasion. And also many thanks to Sheila for her hard work in bringing the wedding together and helping raise such a, a wonderful daughter. What you probably don't know is that Aaron proposed four times before Imogen accepted. <laughs> now, why might this be? The flaw in the plan was, he sleep talks. <laughs> he was proposing in his sleep. So Imogen's response, not unreasonably, was, Aaron, ask me when you're awake, and I'll give you a reply. All right. <laughs> all right. But happily for us all, in December 2021, on a glacier in Iceland, Aaron is fully awake, <laughs> and he pops the question, and the answer, of course, is yes. And hence we are here today to celebrate the wedding of Imogen and Aaron. I'd just like to give a little bit of advice to Aaron. Whenever you're wrong, admit it. And whenever you're right, keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> brothers than cousins and as I was born first mate I'm the best man. <laughs> we've, made, we've made some unforgettable memories together over the years, diving in Thailand, traveling and of course many parties. Imogen, you look amazing today. You're an independent lovely woman with all the qualities a man can wish for and the most of all you have all the powers to keep Aaron in line. Even though I lost my traveling partner I'm so happy he's got Imogen by his side. So Aaron, it's about time you put a bun in the oven. <laughs> Someone had to say it, didn't they? When it came to writing this speech, many memories came back to me. For example, the time we nearly got arrested for racing an undercover police car. <laughs> the time Aaron got himself thrown down a flight of stairs. Or when Aaron jumped out in front of a bus drunk because he thought everyone left him behind. Then there was a time we knocked over some cyclists in our car. And I know what you're all thinking. Yes, it was their fault. <laughs> Imogen Hodgkins, or my missus. <laughs> I know she's never been a fan, as she wasn't yet a missus. It's taken many proposals, as Chris said. Four in total, and of course, one that I remember, because I wasn't sleeping at the time. <laughs> to get the answer, I've obviously been dreaming of. <laughs> I remember how breathless I was, climbing Kilimanjaro, side by side with you, but nothing took my breath away more than seeing you walk down that aisle today. You look absolutely stunning, and I am proud to call you my wife. I look forward to our future together. Mm -hmm. 